Hey everyone, welcome back. Our last guest is a writer, editor, and activist. She is the recipient of the prestigious American Book Award for Lifetime Achievement. And over the years, she's been able to present her work throughout the US and abroad for different institutions. She's a New Yorker Poets Cafe alumni with a PhD from Birmingham SUNY and is an associate pro professor. And uh, well, we're welcoming Nancy Mercado as we pay homage to the long, the late, great Miguel Agarin, who we just recently lost. Thank you for being here with us today, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having me. I really appreciate this. Well, it's really important for all of us to really take into heart how uh, certain individuals really contributed to uh, where we are now, right? Uh, and, and I say this like, I don't have the same relationship that you had with Miguel Algarin, but I do have a history from the New Eurekan Poets Cafe. I don't know how many generations of New Eurekan Poets Cafe of people who have grown from the New Eurekan Poets Cafe, but it was so important for us to have you on because of how long you've had your relationship with him and, um, and really so that we can shed light on, on him and you and, and just the impact it's had on our community. So thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. M Miguel was an extraordinary human being, <laughs> to say the least. He was so accomplished and, uh, you know, brilliant person, actually, you know, a controversial person also, you know, but of course he was an artist. So that usually goes with, with the territory. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he was just magnificent. One of the founders of the, of the New York and Poets Cafe also, chronicler of the of the New York and literary movement. I I usually um or often consider him as the uh our our version of Allen Ginsberg. Uh you know um that's in terms of the work that was done, that's how I see him uh, a lot of times. You know, that's and of course he's yes. just a friend. So it's yeah, hard so to you know. But my condolences to you, uh, really, and, and I and I mean that the corazón. I know we we're going to be sharing some images with our viewers of just how long of a relationship you had. I mean, you 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 were like a little girl in those photos, you know. Not that you're like that, but I just saying. No, it's uh, I was a lot younger. I mean, I I met uh, Miguel around 1978 um, when I got, went into Rutgers University. He was a professor there, and uh, fortunately, you know, I was able, I met him early on, right when I got there, and then had, got, uh, took a class with him in the Puerto Rican Studies Department, um, and uh, he was the second uh, chairman of the Puerto Rican Studies uh, Department. Uh, uh, Dr. Maria Canino was the first one and one of the founders, uh, or the founder of the department, so we were really fortunate the students who you know were able to have him and he was a great teacher i mean he a great professor he brought all of the um the literary folks in pedro pietri santa maria Esteves, you know and miguel pinero so we got to meet all of them uh one-on-one -on -one in our class and um that's how it began that's how i met everyone and thanks thanks to miguel you know and, and the class that i had with him Mm -hmm. Well, it's wonderful um, in your way and your choices of keeping his legacy alive. I know when he was still alive, I and mean, we just recently lost him. Um, do you know the exact date that he transitioned? Yes, on the 30th of November. On the 30th of November of 2020. And I know you, uh, uh, you were one of the coordinators of that uh, created this wonderful life uh, celebration for him um, at the, uh, where he was. I, I, I don't know uh, what oh, we refer to, Cardinal, Cardinal Terrence, Terrence. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, yeah what is I, that, well, is that a home or? Yeah, it's a rehabilitation center, but it's also, it's also a home. Um, and the person who, although, you know, I was in consultation with him, the person who, who organized that was Ricardo Muñiz, who's another, one of our community leaders and 
And that was a beautiful uh, tribute. We had had several tributes to him before that too. We had a beautiful one at Ostos uh, that Charlie Rice um, also Gonzalez. or organized with with me. You know, we organized it together. That was a beautiful tribute, also. So you know, uh, and there were others. The Capicu had a couple of tributes for him in the cafe, and uh, and we had. Uh, there was another one besides that, but you know, that was good that we were able to do that for him, you know, yeah. while he was still alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, it is, que me lo den en vida. And you know, what I'm really appreciating about this conversation is that you're uh, also sharing with our viewers and to those who may have known him, such as myself, I, I didn't know these details that you shared today. And I think it's important that uh, we all you know, sustain our own history because yeah. that's what he did, that's what he did. He, mm -hmm. he made sure that we were um, uh, kept abreast uh, within our own, um, what I would consider urban culture. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, he, he, uh, he also, you know, it was uh, urban entrenched very much in the urban. Um, but of course, he was a person or an, an artist that was eclectic and, and you know, um, included so many different facets of, you know, cultures and and uh, languages you know he knew he himself knew about four languages or so maybe five languages so he was able to or to work with other people went to europe you know went to uh, other places in the world cuba of course puerto rico you know and so um he was a ver like a renaissance person in that sense you know and then here of course african americans are, are a big part of the new york Post cafe allen ginsburg and and uh um william burroughs and they all went there too so it's it's very um not to mention the other latin american people and the people from puerto rico you know the writers from puerto rico everybody's been you know uh eventually to the cafe you know in that sense the japanese that you could go on and on so. Well, it's world renowned, right? Yeah. So, and mm -hmm. and he's one of the founders, and 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 um, in paying homage to his legacy, I understand you're going to be reciting something of his today. Yes, there's one small piece that he used to read all the time, and actually he knew it, he knew it by heart, and he and we would be we might be having lunch or something, and then he start he start saying this, which was in the middle of lunch, in the middle of lunch. He, in the middle of the street, in the middle of lunch. I mean, that's how Miguel was so spontaneous. Like that's one of the things I loved about him. Um, and it's from his uh, from his book uh, Times Now, uh, and it's a, just a small piece called uh, Conversation Number Six with Our Lord. Is Times Now available on Amazon? Yes, I believe it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, when I am at ease with my I am in front of your you are, the trust melts my fear. I begin to love you with no dread of losing myself in a we are, where we share keeping no secrets. <laughs> Yay, Miguel. <laughs> you know, so, he was something else. I have to take that in. I, I'm I'm a little delayed because that was really simple and profound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, once again, the book is Times Now. Yes. Uh huh. And he had he had oh I don't even know how many books he published, but you could find him definitely on Amazon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he, he also participated in a lot of anthologies and mm -hmm. edited it as, as yourself, too. And so um, thank you for honoring him in, in his words, but um, you yourself are, are a poet and a writer. Um, well, so where can people find your uh, information and or your books or the anthologies that you're published in? Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I have, uh, I have a website, um, nancy hyphen mercado.com and um i also my book is also available on amazon um and in in my on my website you can see other publications that i'm in and interviews and all sorts of things there um and i have my my email there if people need to get in contact with me for any reason um 
So I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I am on the web. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the web and 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 and, and abroad. Well, currently uh, on pause as we all are. Yeah. But um, I understand that there is going to be more celebrations of his legacy. Is there anything that we can share with our viewers um, if anybody was interested in honoring Miguel Algarín? Yes, um, there we're planning a, a three-part event actually um and uh, the first event will take i don't i'm not sure when we'll be on air but the first event takes place on december 19th and that will be a zoom event um will be, be performances we have a committee that's working together um and then uh the, the next event will be uh what we call miguel algarin video anthology which will be an anthology on the web where artists and performers can can join in can just put things there and that'll be there you know forever hopefully that'll be a, a chronicle that'll be there um and it's going to be a huge anthology live like a living anthology um uh in tribute to miguel and then of course the final event will be a live event hopefully in front of the cafe we hope to try to have a block party um and um that will have to be when COVID is is a little bit you know it's like sort of not happening you know right so people, right so people could join together and that's going to be the big big event um and i just like to give a shout out to the committee uh that i'm working with that are really wonderful um lois griffith of course that was uh stable of the cafe and was there for years and years 30 years or more um very also a very good good friend uh very close to miguel his right hand basically and also bob holman who's the uh owner of the bowery poetry club he's he's also on the committee um and uh jason uh, quinones is wonderful he's uh he's he works with the cafe now he's one of the administrators and then elena uh, martinez who uh who's wonderful she's with city lore and she also runs the bronx music heritage center and so we have a really fantastic committee and we're gonna do something really spectacular uh, look for it yes and mm -hmm. so thank you and thank you for bringing it here to our viewers nancy mm -hmm. and thank you for reciting uh one of uh, miguel lagarin's magical pieces mm -hmm. and um if thank people you. wanted to uh become involved with this all these this three-part uh functions mm -hmm. that you how, how would they do so well the uh we're going to be sending out a press release and then that'll be you know people will be able to come together uh for the anthology the zoom event is more structured but the anthology is something that we you know people could come together and then the last part also will be you know we'll, we're gonna hopefully uh um include a, a lot of people. different artists right musicians right. Right? but the thing is then that has to be organized you know so we're gonna work on that later yes all right but there right. will be there will be a press release coming out all right cool all right cool yeah. so then you guys just stand by and stay in touch and uh of course you know um I just want to say that if you want more on Nancy Mercado, you can go mm -hmm. to her website at nancy-mercado.com. And of course, anything on Miguel Algarin, you can find on Amazon. Um, thank you again, Nancy, for being here with us. Thank you. That is our show today, mi gente. Thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Recable cast tonight and 24 hours a day at bronxnet.tv. I'm Rina Valentin. And from all of us here at Open, may the universe provide peace, prosperity, y amor, and loving memory of a New Yorican Poets Cafe founder, Miguel Algarín. Rest in peace. <laughs>